Hey, boys and girls. Today, we are going to finish our cave art and add a little texture to it. When you get your paper back, is we are going to add texture to the paper. Now remember, the cave people drew on cave walls that were bumpy and hard and scratchy. And so to recreate that texture, you're gonna take your paper and you are gonna crumple it up into a ball. This is going to create that bumpy texture on your paper. Now, when you open up your paper, we want to be very careful not to rip it. Any little rips or tears are really not that big of a deal. And now you can see my paper has lots of bumps, lots of cracks, almost like a real cave wall. The next step is to color the inside of our animal. Now remember, the cave people used the colors that they had available. They used blacks and reds and browns and whites. And so these are the colors we are going to use today. We're going to use our oil pastels to color the inside of our animal. And as you can see, as I'm coloring, it's creating this nice texture from my crumpled up piece of paper. I'm gonna keep on coloring. Now remember, the cave people also used two types of colors and would many times blend the colors together. So I'm gonna take a different color now and color the bottom of my bowl. You can also use your oil pastel to add detail to the cave walls around your animal. Now remember, in the caves of Lascaux, there were symbols on the walls. There were lines on the walls. There were lots of markings on the walls that still to this day, some people don't know what they mean. You can draw a hunter, you can draw an extra animal, you can even use your oil pastel to add extra details on top of your animal. Maybe some battle scars, maybe some spots, maybe for you forgot to draw the eye or you forgot to draw the tail. But make sure that you finish with your oil pastel, finish all your details before we sign it. Remember, the cave people would sign their artwork with a handprint. Today, boys and girls, we are going to do that with some paint. Now, instead of dipping our hand in paint, we are going to spray the back of our hand. Pick a good place for your handprint. Remember, it is okay for it to be on top of something else. The cave people would often overlap. I'm going to take my paint and I am going to point it at my hand and spray. Now, boys and girls, it is very important that when we spray this, we are not too close and that we are pointing and spraying. Notice that my bottle is still pointing at an angle. It's not all the way flat and it is not super close to my hand. I don't want to make a huge puddle. I just want to get all around the outside of my hand. Now if this is too difficult to do one-handed, see if a friend at your table can help you. Now. I want to make sure that I keep my hand nice and still because when I pick up my hand, voila, I have a nice empty handprint. Even if it is not perfect, do not set your hand back down and try again because that's just gonna make it worse. Take your dirty, nasty hand and immediately go wash it. Here is my finished cave art. Add some texture, add some details, have fun with it.